Hello, this is a video on how to play the card game Sergeant Major. Now, Sergeant Major is um, a trick-taking card game. Um, it's different from, it's similar to some card games, but it's quite different from any other card game. Um, it's also known as 853. Uh, there are two variations of Sergeant Major. Sergeant Major 853 and Sergeant Major 952. What we'll be doing is we'll be going through the rules for Sergeant Major 853. Do note that if you wanted to play Sergeant Major 952, it's the exact same. Uh, but but when, when one person has to win 8 tricks, uh, that player would then have to win 9 tricks. The player who would win 3 tricks would then have to win 2 tricks in 952. Right? So it's just that little switch. Uh, one player has to win an extra trick and one player wins a trick less. That being said, 853 is the standard Sergeant Major that you'll see if you've ever heard of it. Um, and the star standard Sergeant Major that you'll see played uh, whenever it is played. And so that's why we'll be sticking with Sergeant Major 853 here. Or, well, just Sergeant Major, but the 853 version. Um, and so... Uh, Sergeant Major uses a standard deck. Uh, each player is dealt a hand of 16 cards. So if you look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, the remaining four cards are placed down in a pile known as the Kitty. Uh, so uh, the dealer selects the Trump suit. And so I'll select the Trump suit. Now, what would we want the Trump suit to be? Well, we have we have five clubs, we have three hearts, we have three spades. We also have five diamonds. Um, I think my clubs, uh, my diamonds are my best hand here, and so what I'll do is I'll go with the diamonds as trump. So a dealer selects trump. The dealer then discards four cards from their hand and takes the four cards from the kitty. So the dealer discards four cards from their hand and replaces them by taking the four cards or the kitty into their hand. And so we have to discard our four cards. Note that we picked diamonds to be trump, so it does not make sense to discard the diamonds. Um, and so we'll strategically, this is quite a simple game, by the way. Um, and so um, we'll just go through um, what to do here. So we'll discard three cards here. I'm going to discard my weakest cards. Uh, in a non-Trump suit. Um, yeah. And so I obtained these four cards from the deck. I got a diamond here. I got a king. I missed the other cards I had here. Um, and so that's how you start off the game. The dealer, each player is dealt 16 cards. The dealer exchanges the four cards with the four cards in the middle, known as the kitty. Um, not even just exchanges, just discards the four cards in their hand and picks up the four cards from the kitty. And so, now, playing the actual game. The actual game is a strictly trick-based playing game. Um, and so, uh, you follow the standard rules. Um, the standard rules being, you have to play a card... A, card in the lead suit whenever possible the other rule being if you do not have a card in the lead suit you can play a card in any suit the player with the highest ranking trump card or the highest ranking card in the lead suit if no trump card is played wins the trick in this case the lead suit is spades i do have a spade and so note that i cannot play any of these other cards i am forced to play a spade so i play my spade there butterfly had the ace the highest ranking card and so butterfly took the trick and so that's how you take your trick. It's simple. So let's sum it up right now as we go. Sergeant Major, each player is dealt 16 cards. The dealer must discard four cards and pick up the four cards from the middle. Trick taking follows the standard trick taking in any game. And so that's, that's just how you actually play. So it's really, really simple, right? You can see it's really, really simple. And so in each round, each player has a different number of target number of tricks to win. The dealer must win at least 8 tricks, the the second player 5 tricks, and the last player 3 tricks. Um, and so you might be saying, what do you mean by second player, last player? Um, I guess an easier way of sort of understanding this uh, would be that the second player is the player uh, 
closest to the dealer going clockwise, right? So if I'm here, I'm the dealer where my mouse is. If I go clockwise, the second player is the player immediately to my left. And I mean, the first player is the player immediately to my left. Um, and the second player uh, would be the player to the... I guess I, I, I was using second player and last player. Um, and so the second player would be the player to my left. Um, and then the last player would be the player, um, I guess, furthest clockwise or the player to my right. Now, what else is there? Well, note that it's 853, 853 in a clockwise, starting from the dealer. Uh, the dealer has to win eight tricks, then five, then three. Um, going in a clockwise circle. And so that sets the target number of tricks you have to win in a round. When a round has been finished, uh, the player to the left of the dealer becomes the new dealer. So, essentially, you could honestly say that the 853, it just shifts. So the next round, Wolf has to win 8 tricks, Butterfly has to win 5 tricks, and I have to win 3 tricks, right? 853, 853, 853. So it just sort of goes in a clockwise circle there. Um, the player who wins more tricks than their target... And so let's just let's just honestly play. Let's just play. You want to win as many tricks as you can, right? Like I know it says target tricks, but if you win more tricks, the better. Um, and so you want to win as many tricks as you can. Um, I'm gonna start out playing with uh, an, an ace of hearts. Every other player will probably play their lowest heart card. Play my eight of hearts here. He played his jack. Butterfly is going to play the queen. Butterfly took the trick. Notice how butterflies almost hit their target. Um, and so I don't have a spade, and so I'll just play my trump here. And so I take the trick. Now what I'll do is I'll play my nine of hearts. And so butterfly took the trick again. Um, and so now butterfly plays a spade. I'll play my tr diamond of trump. I take the trick. Um, let's go with a king of hearts. Butterfly plays the five of diamonds and takes the trick. And so this is getting, so Butterfly is doing quite good. So Wolf had the highest trump card there. And so he took the, he took the trick. Butterfly is, Butterfly, okay, I am not doing so good. So I have to pick it up. That is the highest ranking trump card, and so Wolf is going to win that trick. Play the six of hearts. I don't have a heart, and so I'll play my. Please, 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 please. No, 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 no. Okay, this is not going good. Not going good at all. Um, but that's okay, and so I won that trick there. Um. So now it's my turn. Hopefully we can win two more tricks. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. Okay. So do note um, that there are 16 tricks in a round, right? And so, it is possible for all three players to hit their target number of tricks, but that is rare. And so let's just talk about what happened. Let's talk about what happened here. Before we actually play a card. So, you understand, first of all, the basic gist, 16 cards. Dealer discards 4 cards and replaces them with the 4 cards from the kitty. The objective is just to win as many tricks as you can. That, that, that gets that out of the way. Each player is assigned a, a target, 8, 5, or 3. In this case, I have 3. Uh, he has 8, and then he has 5, right? Um, and so the player to the left of the dealer, I guess you could say, has to win 5 tricks. The player to the right of the dealer has to win um, 3 tricks. Um, and so, players who win more tricks than their target, they choose cards equal to the number of additional tricks won to give to the other players. And so since I won... Uh, one more card. I mean, I won eight. Um, and since um, 
this this figure here, uh, one four, and this butterfly here won uh, an extra trick, right? She won four, and she she only needed to win three. The butterfly only needed to win three, but the butterfly won four tricks. Uh, the mouse needed to win um five, but the mouse only won four tricks. And so, what does that mean? Um, that means that uh, the player who won more more tricks than their target, they choose cards equal to the number of additional tricks won to give to the other players. And so Butterfly chose one card to give to Mouse. Um, for each card received, the recipient must pass back his highest value card of the same suit. And so if Butterfly gave a two of spades to Mouse, Mouse has to pass back his highest value card of the same suit. So if Mouse had an ace of spades, Butterfly would give the two of spades and Mouse would give the ace of spades, right? Just hypothetically, they don't know each other's cards. Um, if Mouse gave a nine of clubs and Butterfly, uh, if Butterfly gave a nine of clubs and Mouse had a ten of clubs, Mouse would give the ten of clubs. Um, uh, do note uh, that if you pass a card for which the other player does not have a higher value card, uh, both players retain their cards. And so if uh, Butterfly gave a 5 of hearts, but Mouse had no hearts, right? Because you pass back the highest value. The loser, or the player who is down, passes back the card with the highest value uh, in the same suit. So let's say Butterfly passes a 5 of hearts, but Mouse does not even have a card in the heart suit, or the card that Mouse has is lower than 5. Uh, then uh, Butterfly simply keeps his 5 of hearts. Um, and play resumes normally. So basically, um, players are either up or down, depending on if they won more than their target number of tricks or less than their target number of tricks. The player who won more than their target number of tricks passes one card to the player who won less than their target number of tricks. Um, and that player must then give back, um, uh, a card, the highest value card of the same suit of the card that was passed. If the player does not have a card in the same suit than the card that was passed, or if the player only has lower value cards, uh, then the player who passed the card retains their original card. So it's just that simple. Like right? it's it's pretty simple. Sixteen cards. Dealer exchanges with the kitty. Win as many tricks as you can. If you win an extra number of tricks, you exchange cards with the player who won a lower number of tricks. Um. Note that if two players want an extra number of tricks, um, then the player with the higher extra number of tricks exchanges cards first, right? And so if I want to, if I want an extra trick, and but Butterfly won five extra tricks, Butterfly would if or that that's a little unrealistic. If I want an extra trick and Butterfly won an extra two tricks, Butterfly would get to do the exchange with Mouse first, and then I would have to do the exchange second. Do note. Now that there is no points over the course of rounds. You do not accumulate points. Rather, in each round, the objective is to try to win 12 tricks. Uh, the player who wins 12 tricks wins the game. And that's literally Sergeant Major. And so by winning an additional number of tricks each round, uh, you get yourself higher ranking cards, giving yourself an advantage. And so you want to try to win an additional number of tricks in each round. That way, you can obtain an additional number of cards from a player, putting other players at a disadvantage and putting you at an advantage. The objective is, once again, to just try to win 12 cards in every round. And so, realistically, if no player wins 12 tricks, this game could go on for an hour, hour and a half, two hours. I um, mean, so we'll just keep playing, and hopefully you sort of understand the gist here. Note that I do have to play in the lead suit whenever I have it. Um, I could beat that, but I'll I'll try beating it. And so he won. So that was. Ah, uh, what can you do? Six, seven. I'll play two of diamonds, picking the trump card. Do know that the dealer gets to uh, pick the uh, trump card, right? Um, that's the advantage, I, I guess, because they have to win the most tricks, right? They do get to pick pick the uh, trump card. Um, and so what we'll do is now we'll start off with a two of spades. And so butterfly play the jack there.
Five of clubs, I'll play my seven of diamonds, and so I won the trick there. Um, butterfly won by playing a king. Butterfly played their club, and so I'll play my diamond. So Wolf actually won with the highest diamond there. Wolf plays a spade. I must play a spade. Because I have to play the lead suit whenever possible. I'll play my king. And Wolf played a diamond. I was anticipating that something like that was going to happen. And so... Quite unfortunate. So we did end up winning that trick. And so we'll just play our six of hearts here. Wolf played his king of diamonds winning that trick. And so Wolf played it out with the ace of diamond wild card. I mean trump. So that's the strongest card obviously. So Wolf is going to win that. Um, I can win this by playing my trump card and I will do so. So that's an additional trick. That's an advantage for me. So butterfly then wins the rook runner. So I pass one card to Wolf. I'm going to pass my. I'm thinking about passing my two of clubs to Wolf. And Wolf has to give me his highest ranking card. In this case, it was an ace of clubs. So that's good. Remember the dealer picks a trump. In this case, butterfly picked hearts as trump. Butterfly is going to then discard four cards. And so I think you, you can sort of see how to play Sergeant Major. Remember, the player to the left of the dealer has to win five. The player to the right has to win three. And so, essentially, the... Let me just come up with a concise way of saying this. Okay, yeah. Just remember like this. The player left of the dealer has to win five tricks, and the player right of the dealer has to win three tricks. So it's our turn to play. Um, We'll play our five of spades here. Wolf plays, sorry, I called him a mouse before, my apologies. Wolf wins a, uh, okay, I don't know why I called him a mouse. Um, so that's an ace of hearts, that's the strongest trump, and so, I mean, there's no way you could obviously beat that. Um, and so, that's a queen of hearts. I'm going to risk trying, to, I'm going to risk my queen here. Oh, he played his king. So he took that. Uh, that's unfortunate. Um, I'm just going to play my lowest spade here. So Butterfly took that trick. Sorry, it is, is, it is a bit slow here. Uh, sometimes. And so, now that's a diamond. I'll play my ace of diamond. I want this trick. Yep. Now I'm going to play my uh, ace of clubs. Hopefully, Butterfly don't play a trump. Okay. So, we'll play our Jack of Clubs. So, we'll play the King of Clubs. Remember, you want to try to win as many tricks as you can. Right? You want to win 12 tricks. That's honestly the objective. And you get to that point by winning many tricks in the earlier rounds. So, Butterfly. Okay. That's a two of spades, and I'll play my ace of spades. I'll take that trick. What I'll do is I'll play my two of diamond. So Wolf plays this five of diamond. Butterfly plays the ten of diamonds. So I do not have that, so I'll play my five of hearts in an attempt to win. take that trick. Yes. Wonderful. Play my six of diamonds here. And so you can sort of just see how this is playing out. Um, I think we'll go with one more round after this. It doesn't. I, I think you can sort of understand how to play. Um, it doesn't make sense to try to play until a player hits 12 points. Because honestly, that could take hours. <laughs> depending on how the game plays out. Um, we'll play our highest value trump card here. Because I do want to hit my target tricks. Um, let's play seven of diamonds here so butterfly played the queen of diamonds taking that trick 
That's the king of spades. I'm going to play my six of hearts in an attempt to take that trick. Wolf played the jack of hearts, and Wolf got that extra trick there. And so, Butterfly's going to be down one. Wolf's going to be up one. I am the dealer. I have the most clubs. So what we'll do is we'll stay with clubs as the trump. We'll discard our lowest non-clubs. One, two, three. Our lowest non-clubs. Yeah. All right. So I just only I only got one more club there. Uh, wasn't that wasn't too lucky. Uh, but our hand isn't that bad. I do have to play my ace of hearts, right? Because I could win the trick there. Um, let me just play my eight of eight of diamonds here, and let's see what happens. And so this is the last round, right? I don't want this to get too long or too repetitive. Um, and so Wolf's gonna play right there. Um, I am gonna try to take this trick by playing my ace of diamond, because I do have to win eight tricks, right? And so it's harder for me to. I have a higher target to hit than uh, the other players. So I took that with the... Um, six. And, and so this is going good. This is going good. I like this. Um, let's just go with the... Uh, we'll play our lowest spade here. Three of spades. Yeah, I'll probably lose this trick, but that's okay. I just had to get rid of that spade. I was going to lose it no matter what. This is a seven of clubs. I'll play my eight of clubs in an attempt to win this trick. Hopefully Wolf does not play a higher ranking card. Wolf played his jack of clubs. Fair enough. Um, played a nine of diamonds. Butterfly played a two of spades. I do not have that. I will play my two of clubs. Taking this hand and winning it. I mean taking that trick. Now, my objective. I'm going to play my eight of spades here. He played the three of clubs, and so he's going to take that. So he does not have spades. So that is good to know. Do note that I don't have hearts, and so I will play my trump card here. He does not have spades, right? And so I'm not going to... Actually, I'm going to force out his cards here. I'm going to, I'm going to force out his trump cards here. Because my trump cards are quite high. So I'd like to retain the value here. Um, so we'll play my highest value trump card there. I mean, my lowest value trump card there. Now we will once again play a spade. And so I think you can understand, right? The player to the left of the dealer has to win five cards, five tricks. The player to the right has to win three tricks. Once again, I will play my lowest value trump card, winning the trick. Now then I will... Remember, the player who wins the last trick leads the next trick. Um, and so... And so Butterfly is actually going to get past two cards. Remember, like I said, if both players pass the same number of cards, um, then uh, the player who, who won more cards uh, ends up... I, I mean, if both players have extra cards then the player who has more extra card extra tricks one uh passes uh the i guess card to butterfly first um and so i have a lot of spades i don't have a lot of don't have a lot of i want to do my best to retain pass that card to butterfly there so butterfly gave me a nine that's okay and so we'll, we'll play one more. We'll play one more round, honestly. Um, actually, no. Um, well, okay, we'll see. Uh, but it is, I mean, you can you can tell how to play. It's quite an easy game. Um, and so the ace of spades, we can't beat that. So, I mean, there's no point of even trying. And you want to get value out of your tricks. When you lose a trick, you want to lose a trick with a very low value card. And when you win a trick, you also want to try to win a trick with a very low value card. That allows you to keep your higher value cards um, earlier on. Um, and so obviously I can't. 
I can't beat that. Um, I have to play. I have to play the lead suit whenever possible, right? That's a seven of hearts. Um, I'm gonna go with a four of hearts here. Let's see if Wolf has a trump that he's going to play. Yeah, Wolf had a jack of hearts that he was gonna play there, and so I lost that trick with the low value card, right? Uh, nine. I don't even have a single card here that can help me. So I'm just going to get rid of my lowest value card there. That's just simple math. Six, um, that's a 10. I'll, I'll play my lowest value card then. And so I haven't won any tricks yet. <laughs> and it's not looking like I will. Um, okay, Wolf took that trick. Okay, I can take this trick. We'll lead with a bit of a higher value. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to play my lowest value heart here because you have the ace of hearts. Once again, I'll play my lowest value card here because I cannot even... I'll have to play my lowest value card. And so we're in a quite a bad spot here. Uh, we don't really have any tricks won. Yeah, yeah, we're in a pretty bad spot here. Um, and so that sort of sums up how to play. And so now he's going to pass me one card, right? Because I, I, I was two cards below my target, and so not only am I going to get a card from Wolf, I'm also going to get a card. I'm going to get two cards from Wolf. Um, and so this sort of shows how to play Sergeant Major. Uh, this is eight five three. Uh, once again, if you want to play the nine five two, uh, then the dealer would have to win nine tricks, and the player without, uh, the player to the. Uh, right of the dealer would have to win two tricks, uh, but in eight five three, the dealer wins eight tricks. The player of the left has a goal to win five tricks and the player to the right of the dealer has a goal to win three tricks uh that wraps up how to play sergeant major it's an easy to learn card game it's fun um and i hope you enjoyed learning it